Observe, the Goomba in its natural habitat. And now here it is in the snow, and the desert, as well as the beach. Goombas can adapt to many kinds of environments, so long as they can carry out their main purpose in life. Walking in a single direction to take out their foes against all odds. Just look at the determination. Sadly, not all of these magnificent creatures survive this dangerous task. There are pits, fireballs, plumber rumps, and many other terrors. Then there is the winged variety, which fares better on most occasions. Except for this poor fellow who was born with two right wings. Are you discriminating against me? The more fortunate paragoombas fly up and down infinitely, avoiding gruesome deaths that the regular variety experience. Of course I would be doing these sentient piles of dung a disservice if I were to- Make a documentary about us. What the- Who let you into the recording booth? You requested you got more recognition and I was trying to give it to you until you so rudely ceased my speaking. Away with you! Oh jeez, I'm talking with formality! This quaint documentary is ruining my vocal patterns! Anyway, let us return to our broadcast. Ahem, I would be doing these sentient piles of dung a disservice if I were not to mention the notable achievements of this species. Let us start with the obvious. They were the first living obstacle that many new players of the Mario series trounced. Imagine being the first impression to millions of fresh new players of the most popular video game franchise in the world. Not only have they done this, but they also killed many of the new Mario manipulators as they attempted to be a cool kid. Another achievement of Goombas is saving the entire world from eternal darkness. Mario could not have dispatched the Shadow Queen during the events of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door without the help of Goombella, a spunky Goomba U student. When requested to appear on our show here, we receive this mysterious passage of words that can only be described as confusing. Go Goombas! Some more notable actions of these marvelous bipedal stools include wielding a baseball bat with psychic powers, hindering the progress of vehicles during a race, studying glittery rocks, causing emotions, and more. Thus far, we have only discussed two species of Goombas. We have yet to delve into the full family tree, which includes the Spiked Goomba which has evolved to have the brain capacity to wear a sharp hat. The Gloomba, Paragloomba, and the Spiked Gloomba, tougher variants of Goombas that prefer dark environments. The Hyper Goomba, Paragoomba, and Spiked Goomba, stronger types of Goombas that can charge their attacks. The Pumpkinhead Goomba, a Goomba with a pumpkin shell and a bias towards old memes. The Skeleton Goomba, uh, yeah. This is just scratching the surface on the types of two-footed turds. But now we must take a peek at some of the unfortunate injustices that Goombas have had to face. Take a look at the Super Mario Bros. movie. The Goombas, instead of cute and harmless, they are demonic and fear-inducing. And look at Super Mario Sunshine. The Goombas were left out in place of walking Wesleys, or strolling stews. In conclusion, Goombas have a rich history. There are many varieties. They have lots of notable achievements, many cool members of the species, but lots of unfairness. I hope you've learned something important on this day, so I bid you farewell. The ratings are pretty good, and better yet, we've made tons of money to go towards our evil schemes. I'm thinking we're gonna need a sequel. Hmm. Call Koopa. <laughs> So the Koopa documentary part was sort of a joke, but if this video gets a lot of views and good feedback, then perhaps the sequel will come to life. So, like, subscribe, leave a comment telling me your thoughts, and have a nice day!